welcome to November's Beauty Roundup. Once again, I'm just, just, just making it before the end of November. Um, you might have realised by now that I leave everything till the very last minute and I'm off to New York on Wednesday to shoot a hair ad campaign so I'm trying to get everything out of the way before I go. So there should be loads of really quite interesting videos, um, if I may say so myself, once I get back from New York. Oh, I've got funny hair hanging off my eyelashes. Um, anyway, these are the things that I've been using the most this month. Things that I've loved, new discoveries, um, this hair's really going to drive me mad. And, ah, uh, there you go. Yes, and um, just generally things that, that I've liked, really. First of all, My Face Cosmetics. I'm wearing a full face of My Face Cosmetics because I've just shot a different video. And the foundation in particular um, is just incredible. Flawless finish, totally light. If you know anything about me, then you'll know that I'm not really into foundations. Um, but this is just even lighter than a tinted moisturiser. And it's just incredible. Flawless finish. Thing number two, and I've done a separate video on this as well, is my illuminated tweezers. Which I just don't know how I lived without. A little light there. So you can use them pretty much anywhere. Also, you'll know about my eyelash saga and I pulled them all out. I've been using Ginny Lash Lash Conditioner. You get one in a kind of eyeliner type um, brush applicator and you get one with a mascara wand applicator. And religiously I've been doing this twice a day and I do feel like they are more lush. Um, they were very brittle because I've been kind of picking at them and they'd had glue on and stuff like that and they just were back to normal within a week. I do feel like they've been growing faster and that, you know, compared to about, I think it was about three weeks ago when I pulled all my lashes out, or most of my lashes, um, I do feel like there were a lot of new lashes so I'm really, really impressed with that. Also, I've done a video on this before as well, um, Laboratoire Remed which is the translucent UV coat, but I only had shade one before, which is light, and I've now got shade two, um, and it's just incredible. It's a gorgeous, light, um, UV protection, top coat type thing, but it's also got a bit of tint in as well, so it's like a tinted moisturiser, um, but just really, really light. Soap and Glory Clear Here T-Zone Moisturiser. Really nice, and it's almost like um, a mattifying primer as well as a moisturiser. I've only been using it in the T-zone but if you've got really oily skin use it all over. But it just feels like it's very clarifying and it's very cool on application and um, just kind of gets rid of oil. So actually a brilliant and really quite inexpensive way of um, mattifying your skin before you apply makeup. Oh a cheap product! Elf Shimmer Eyeliner Pencil. I'm going to put a bit of this on. £1.50, just a really nice way to wear a shimmery eyeliner. Um, it's not glittery, but just the, the shimmer that it's got in it makes it a lot softer than wearing black for daytime. Anyway, I've just really quickly splodged that on. I just think for £1.50 that's incredible. It does need sharpening quite a lot, it's got sharpener in the lid. Um, and, you know, I've used this loads and it's not going down that much. Another product that's already been in another video, or a video that I'm about to post, <laughs> is Seventeen Cosmetics um, Eyeshadow Trio. This one's in Neptune. Amazing, amazing pigment. Um, these two shades are the ones that I've been using. I'm not so keen on the, the plum. Um, but, you know, this is so cheap. I think these are 3 99 um, that, you know, I don't really need to use a plum, thanks very much. But this comes, this trio comes in different shades and they're all just really highly pigmented and should be a lot more expensive than they are, so really nice. They haven't long been launched, actually. Something that's been keeping me quite sane over the last few weeks, because I've been having building work and I haven't really had a bathroom. I mean, the bath's still there, but... Um, it's just all been quite hectic and there's been a lot going on. I've been using the Aromatherapy Associates um, Perfect Partners. It's two different bath oils, one that you can use in the morning and one in the evening. 
One's called Revive and one's called Relax. And I've just been finding that they, I don't know, they really do have an effect on your senses and your well-being. Um, and I've always been a bit kind of sceptical about aromatherapy, it's like whatever, crystals and all that kind of stuff. But actually it really does work. And they do another one that's called, um, oh, I think it's called Support and it's a peppermint one. That's incredible as well. I've been using a lot of Dr. Lips lip balm, nipple balm for lips. Um, it's very good, very, very thick lip balm to kind of help prevent chapping and stuff like that because it's been sub-zero here in London recently. And another base product here, um, this is Skin Veil by Cosmetics a la carte. Absolutely gorgeous um, base, but it's not a foundation. What it is, is kind of like a skin perfecting cream. So you put it on over bare skin and it just kind of fills in any fine lines and creases, reflects light, and it, it's almost like a primer that's got some colour in it. So for people like me who don't like to wear base, really, although I'm kind of being converted by a couple of products recently, um, it's just a perfect way of not wearing any makeup but having flawless skin. So I will demonstrate this in another video very, very soon um, because I'm going to do a whole Cosmetics a la carte video. I've been using this a lot. I like the fact it's compact, it's got a mirror in it. I can take it to touch up between castings and it smells absolutely incredible. So that's Cosmetics a la carte Skin Veil. This is in vanilla shade. Oh, one more thing. I went to Number 7's launch of their springtime cosmetics um, and really, really loved the shades. This is a very bright pink and sugary lipstick and it's called Bridget and I've completely fallen in love with it. Now, it looks very, very pink and kind of over the top and it's not to everyone's taste. But when you swatch it on your hand, it hardly gives any colour at all. I mean, it doesn't really show up. So I was thinking, oh dear, at first, you know, is this going to do anything? But on the lips, it really pales them up very nicely, but um, gives them kind of, I don't know, a nice kind of blush of pink colour as well. I've only done one slick. Now, I really like that shade. Some of you might be puking because you don't like pinks and it's too sugary sweet, but I am quite a big fan of this kind of shade. Um, it's just got the right balance of tones for me. It's not so cool that you look a little bit dead, um, but it's nicely pink and just very, I don't know, just very sheer, very pretty for springtime. So keep a look out for this. I also really like the packaging. It's very cute. I don't know whether you can see that there. Um, it's like cardboard packaging. It reminds me a little bit of the Paul and Joe Beauty lipsticks and also um, a couple of things that I saw from L'Occitane. Um, but very, very pretty. Brilliant for spring. So I think that's it. Whatever I've missed will have to go in the next one. And I know that I missed some things from last month's video and I said I'd put them in this one. And now I can't remember what they are. So uh, it's like an ongoing, never-ending saga, this whole beauty roundup. But I hope you've enjoyed that one. I've witted on far too long, so I'm now going to go and film something else. So I've got a long list of things that I need to do today. So I'll see you next time.